Hello and welcome to the Cyber One YouTube channel. My name is Ray and in this video we're going to have a look at a Tower Pro MG996R digital high torque servo. Now according to the Tower Pro website this servo has a 11 kilogram centimeter torque rating. Uh, it's designed to run from 4.8 to 6 volt DC uh, and it's supposed to have either a 90 degree or a 180 degree output depending on the variant of the model that you've ordered. Now this one I believe has a 180 degree output so if you use the standard RC remote control range of 1000 microseconds to 2000 microseconds pulse width this will give you a 90 degree output if you extend that out to uh, the 500 microsecond to 2500 microsecond range this will give you 180 degrees of rotation now I bought 12 of these in preparation for building the spot micro dog they took a couple of months to turn up because of the pandemic and then when I started to assemble the dog I had three of these just spin freely not work the gears appeared, appeared to have stripped during construction of the robot dog subsequent to that I've had another five fail so a total of eight of the twelve have actually failed and they all appear to be stripped gears but let's have a look inside these are a relatively inexpensive servo and there are notes on the Tower Pro website that there are a lot of uh, clones out there using their name and are not of high uh, quality as what they produce counterfeits I think is the term they used okay so looking at the back there's no ceiling at all so this thing is not weatherproof there's no seal in here either the pot is a 5k ohm pot with long leads coming all the way up to the printed circuit board and it is soldered to the printed circuit board direct the motor is soldered directly to the printed circuit board as well with this point and this point let's get the top off and have a look at the gearbox okay so inside the lid we have a nylon bush bearing on the output side again no seal anywhere to be seen and there's our problem with our gearbox so this one you can see all these gears here I've had the tops taken off them and if you look in here there's bits of gear there that's the tooth off the other one so that's a bit disappointing this output gear is definitely metal but that is definitely a plastic gear the MG in the part number represents metal gear so that's somewhat disappointing only the output gear is metal looks like all of the gears are stripped off that
Okay, so this is the next one. And that appears to be uh, all plastic as well, but there is no damage onto it, probably because all the damage was taken on the next one out, which would have had more load on it. Okay, so let's get this gear out. Okay, so we have another nylon bearing supporting in the back of the output gear. It's got a shaft coming out the back of the gear which would go down and slot into the pop below for position sensing. It has a metal spigot on it to stop it from rotating all the way around so that's their prevention and that would line up with running inside this track and stopping here and here so that's your 270 degree protection to stop it from rotating too far. doesn't appear to work. That can't work. Well that's a design flaw. So that would hit against the next gear actually would it? Yes it would. So it's hitting against the gear, it could potentially damage that gear. Okay, so that's um, poor design. So let's remove this nylon bearing, get this last gear out here. Alright, so this is also a plastic gear. And that gear on the motor appears to be exactly the same colour and type as all these other plastic gears. There's no screws up here at all to hold the motor in place. To get that board out I'm going to have to remove the pot and it looks like these two tabs here are holding that pot in. So let's knock those down. And the whole lot motor assembly falls out. That's all a thermoplastic type frame housing. Okay, we have a 4953 chip here. Now the data sheet for that number is a P channel, dual P-channel MOSFET capable of running up to 20 volts at, at 3 amps. On the bottom side here we have is that Looks like a 9926. Nine, nine, okay, so search on that data sheet is a dual N channel 
MOSFET and it's rated at 6 amps per channel so it's actually a better chip again 20 to 30 volts DC now the third chip in here is a KC9102 and that is a generic servo driver IC I couldn't find much data on that because it is a generic chip so to prevent this motor from spinning looking at this it's not screwed in it has got screw holes in the end of the motor but it's not screwed in that would have saved on parts so to prevent it from spinning it's soldered on it looks like it's got two tabs that come out they've bent the tabs over before soldering so this was built in a very cheap manner there are a couple of transistors on the back the servo is supposedly rated 4.8 to 6 volts DC so yeah a bit disappointed in the gearbox side of it the MG in the part number does represent metal gear I have seen other servos where at least the first three or four gears are metal and then after that they'll switch to plastic when the torque comes off this was only the output gear was metal uh, it definitely wasn't even close to its 11 k uh, 11 centimeter kilogram torque that'll do for this video if you like these videos don't forget to click on like subscribe ring that notification bell uh, leave a comment on how you found these servos in the past uh, if you found anything else that's uh, interesting with them I do have a discord channel and there will be a link in the description for that where you can join the growing community in discord asking questions and getting answers and I have a patreon account so you can join my patreons VIPs go lucky and Lorenz Berger and my builder level patreons uh, El Morales 45 and Ratchet in helping to support the channel and bring more videos like these to you and we'll see you on the next video